South African President Cyril Ramaphosa on Wednesday met the South African Jewish Board of Deputies at his presidential residence in Pretoria to discuss the country's stance on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The South African Jewish Board of Deputies made requests relating to diplomatic recognition of Israel and to boycott of the boycott of Israel or Israeli and Jewish businesses in South Africa. They also petitioned Ramaphosa to restore full diplomatic recognition of Israel, including the reopening of South African Embassy in Tel Aviv and to ensure that the Israeli Embassy in Pretoria will not close to enable the Israeli ambassadors return to South Africa. To further discuss this, I am being joined by President of the South African Zionist Federation, Avram Krengel. Hello, Avram. Thank you so much for joining me on the news this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, wonderful to be on your show. All right. So what motivated the Jewish board to have a meeting with President Ramaphosa regarding the relationship between South Africa and Israel? Can you give us an overview uh, of the outcome and uh, if there were any specific agreements or commitments made? So the um, reason we called for the meeting was that uh, since the 7th of October, uh, when Israel was attacked by Hamas uh, brutally in the south of Israel, um, the South African government has been extremely one-sided um, in this conflict in that it has um, blamed completely Israel and completely exonerated Hamas. Its actions and behavior in uh, South Africa has led to an outpouring of anti-Semitism against the South African Jewish community. And uh, because of that, uh, you know, in the press and everywhere else, we were constantly clashing with them over this double standard that was applied to Israel um, and was not being applied anywhere else in the world in terms of South African foreign policy. Uh, we finally obtained this meeting with the president as well as the ministers of international relations and the minister of the e presidency. Uh, and that was held on, uh, on Wednesday. All right, so uh, Avram, what specific steps does the Jewish board plan to take to restore and also strengthen the relationship between both countries? So what we asked the president to do was exactly what you've already mentioned, that uh, firstly, the embassy of South Africa needs to be reopened in Tel Aviv, in Israel. There are over 20,000 South African citizens that live in Israel, as well as thousands of uh, Christian pilgrims and Jewish groups that go, and they are being deprived of uh, basic consular services, including replacement of lost passports, issuing of birth certificates, passports, etc. We also want them to return the South African ambassador to Israel. And then in respect of the Israeli embassy in South Africa, we want them to uh, indicate and undertake that they won't close it so that the Israeli ambassador to come back to South Africa. We also asked that the president uh, speak out against anti-Semitism, the, the enormous rise of anti-Semitism in South Africa over the past two months, and specifically uh, speak out against the boycotting of Jewish businesses in South Africa um, by pro-Palestinian forces, um, which are especially harming the small uh, Jewish businesses uh, and are dividing, uh, already divided South Africa and affecting an economy which is uh, already battling uh, with enormous levels of unemployment and uh, almost non-existent growth. All right. Now, um, Avram, how does the Jewish board plan to address concerns raised by critics who argue that the efforts might undermine the Palestinian cause or even the human rights concerns? So I think we have to make an enormous distinction between Hamas, which is an Islamic jihadist terror group, very similar to what uh, Nigeria and many African countries encounter. Uh, these are murderous groups that really have no place uh, to exist or definitely not control territory, as opposed to the Palestinian people 
who we are fully committed uh, to the two-state solution where they should be a Palestinian state that eventually is formed in both Gaza and uh, and areas within the uh, in the West Bank. And what we said to the South African government was that in every other conflict, both in the Middle East, in Africa, and around the world, Ukraine, Russia is another good example. South Africa does not come out uh, and condemn one side and praise the other. It gets involved in trying to resolve the conflict uh, in, in, in the manner that South Africa resolved its own uh, intractable conflict, conflict uh, 30 years ago. And the only exception to this is in the Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict, where they don't play that role at all. They, are, they demonize uh, Israel and continually attack it in an extremely hostile manner, while in no way condemning. Uh, the conduct of uh, you know of of the Palestinians, uh, and that that imbalance, those that double standards, actually undermines the role that South Africa could play to peacefully uh, bring this conflict to an end after almost a hundred years. We are doing ourselves as South Africans a disservice by being the cheerleader for one side, uh, uncritically praising them while attacking the other when we should be uh, engaging with both parties, with all the parties in the region, and actively get involved in trying to resolve this conflict, as we have done quite successfully in other areas in Africa, as well as even in the, uh, the Ukraine-Russian uh, uh, conflict, where South Africa and other African leaders of state have played a very uh, constructive role. All right, well, thank you so much uh, for your time and also to sp uh, speak in to us on this. Uh, that was Avram Krengel. He is the president of the South African Zionist Federation. Thank you once again. Thank you very much.